Simon Fielder, ladies and His gentlemen. His job's on the line. His job is on the line. Yeah. <laughs> Simon, P45, Fielder. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I can hear a cry, ladies and gentlemen. Rio Lavalis! Rio Lavalis! Listen, a little bit louder, cos the papers aren't very good. I need you really warmed up today. And... Okay, the mirror held by Jerry Springer. Oh, okay. uh, morning, Jerry. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Am I supposed to read this, or you just no? Look at I'll it? read it out, Jerry. You'll read it. You unless, do look unless, pretty. But Jerry, I welcome your comments after <laughs> I've done so. Revolving dorks. It what? says the BBC what? forks out thousands of pounds instructing staff how to use a new set of revolving doors. Oh, wow. Wow. No. Really? Jerry, would you like to comment? That would be wrong. That would be wrong, <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> it does seem a waste of, um, of license pairs' money. I've been through a few revolving doors. I, be, I, I find the stopping the revolving door trick Usually when someone's in front, in front of... is the funniest <laughs> joke oh, ever. Yes. How typical of you. No, I do find... I love doing it. I really do. People look around really cross. I'm just going, oh, I panic. And just go... Pfft. I'm going to watch you next time. Don't you, always do? Do you always do it? Do you always do it? I yeah, always do it. I just never know which side to get out of. Yes, it can happen, <laughs> don't it? You go through, and once you start going in a circle, you don't know where you're supposed to get out. It's easy, you just break uh, the glass. I, Jerry, you have you started drinking, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm funny. You, if you don't know how to get no, out of room, then it's... Just, it's my favourite chat show host has hit the bottle. <laughs> no, no I'm, just on, I'm just on my way home. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. Yeah. Uh, oh, you had a big night? You're getting ready for Miss World. Well, it's Miss World. What happened? Oh. Jerry oh. is hosting Miss World. I now know how to say no in 94 different languages. I bet you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They all say no. Are we showing you how to say no? I bet you can say no. Yeah. I bet you've learned languages. to say yeah. I know how to say yes. Yeah. Oh. He can say bring it on in Swahili. <laughs> yeah. Bring it on. Oh, I'm so lonely. <laughs> and also, Mel C's astonishing 30 minute oh. confession to oh. our 3 a.m. girls from this Lou at the Madonna concert. Oh. Who? Th those no, three? Melanie's your friend, isn't she? Yeah, they pick you know on what, Melanie? No, they patched it all up. Read the odds, they patched it all up. It's all over. It's fine. Sorry, it must be true. The three M girls, Mel C, they're mates now. Don't worry. Uh, let's go to the Daily Mail. Uh, revolt over gay consent. Uh, this is what the mail says. Uh, yes, revolt, disgust and revulsion is what they're trying to say. Uh, if a newspaper could actually throw up, there's no doubt uh, that the mail would be at the, uh, I think, at the very thought of this legislation goes through. Let's move through to the sun. Rubber dub dub, Dawn can't fit in her tub. What? <laughs> <laughs> Rubber dub Dawn can't fit in her tub. This is Dawn French. She's had to splash out on a new bigger bath because she can't fit in her old one. So, what on that front page news? It's a big story in Britain, in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> that's a massive, Jerry. Don't you think it's a massive story? Well, it's knocked our presidential story off the front page. It certainly has. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. how big a story it is. Yeah. <laughs> plus, uh, plus, we've got. Uh, I think it's oh, Rachel stop from S Club Seven. About Rachel from S Club Seven. I'm not. I'm just saying it's rather an interesting depression in her bikini <laughs> line. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. Jerry. I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know if the fellas, well, the fellas were analysing it over there earlier. It's quite interesting to hear what men in Tartan think of that. Um, but they are. Why don't you try and get in there? Oh, you give it all that. <laughs> <laughs> give yeah. it in there. <laughs> <laughs> really, she's like that. Oh, no, he tongues. <laughs> oh, it's time to put his tongue in. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <hey>. oh. <laughs> I'm going to get in there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, I've, I've, identif I've identified... Um, a very worrying new trend this morning. Two instances of this. Uh, watch out for this over Christmas. Firstly, a man broke into a flat in Gloucester and just fell asleep in the, vic <laughs> in the victim's bed. He in didn't the steal bed. He didn't steal anything. He didn't steal anything, but he left wrapped in a duvet when the owner returned. <laughs> Amazing. Aww. Another instance of it as well. This is just even worse. A couple were cuddling up in bed <laughs> and they got a shot when a drunk stranger wandered in looking to go to sleep. He's wandering into their bedroom. <laughs> Look at him, he's going, shh, 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 <laughs> Uh, he's got the 30 year old saw a familiar door, climbed the stairs, and collapsed on the bed in Kettering. Oh, Northampton. Oh, you just thought he'd crash out with him. Just watch out for that over Christmas, though. It's a worrying new trend. Mm. Uh, this is uh, the last post. Council chiefs in Basildon. That's why I picked this yeah, out this okay. morning. Yeah? For me. Yeah. Council chiefs in Basildon, Essex, are changing the colour of 150 dog poo bins from red to grey. Yeah? Mm. 
because locals thought they were post boxes and started putting them. <laughs> I've got to tell you, okay, I use one of these. Uh, they're, those, they're, they're, about that, they're, they're about that far off the ground. They're red boxes, yeah? yeah. And you put your dog poo. Now, I've got a dog, I've, I scoop, I go in there. Is it an easy mistake to make? No, 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 it is it not. Is. No, 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 it, it is, is an not. Easy mistake it's to make. not Denise. Well, after a few drinks? No, doesn't matter. Possessed. When you open the lid, of one of those. It is like the jaws of hell open. Oh, Let no, me tell I you. quite like that smell. No, no, you on. don't like the smell of dog poo. It's like, <laughs> you open it up and it is like a thermal of it just comes. It reminds you that smell is particles. It clings, it lives. The smell, you could, any fool putting a thing, oh, it must be funny smelling letter box out. Oh, no, you, you become gone. immune to the smell after a while. No, you don't. You Every do. day I clean Have it up. Have you ever rolled around in it? What? <laughs> There is a danger, though, if they do change the colour to grey. I mean, if you're mistaking the red ones for post boxes when they smell like that, you've the got... Lampposts. Exa well, no, Whoa. you've got a grey one there. They're always by benches. You've always got pensioners sitting by the thing. I always turn away like that. Grey heads, dog poo, <laughs> pensioners, <laughs> pensioners doze with the mouth open. <laughs> you know what I mean? Before you know, you're filing it away. Should, no, then they should make it a rule in Essex that all pensioners should have a blue rinse. A blue rinse, yeah. but otherwise they're going to have a brown rinse. <laughs> OK, enough I'm just of saying, that, people are eating their I'm breakfast. sorry, but you cannot mistake the, the smell of the... Uh, Jerry. On, is it only for dogs, though? I didn't know. <laughs> well, you can if you... If you, <laughs> if you I'm not aware You've of your You've got customs. a niece who lives in Pitsy in Essex. You what? You've got a niece who lives in Pitsy. You in have an Essex niece. You have. <laughs> Jacuzzi. I just said at the last minute she was my niece. OK. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know. I'll I tell you what, niece I don't know, when the paternity yes. suits are going to fly off she this, this well. She lives just by Pitsy Market. Someone's going around saying she's my niece? Yes, yeah. she lives just by Pitsy Market. She speaks with forked tongue, that's not true. <laughs> no, no, I think she was talking about her Uncle Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. Right. That's, that's it. That's Jerry. Right. Uncle Jerry. Yeah, your Uncle Jerry's here. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I've got some great coats for you fellas today. Oh, yes. I spoil you. These are some coats that deserve... They're worn by women, but frankly, men. Uh, have a look at this. Oh, look at that. Donna, Donna has a comment about this coat. Donna? You do? You said that it's... Fun. Oh, no, I just said that there was a 70% sale in Dolce & Cabana on Sunday, and maybe that was one of the bargains. Well, you're saying she, that, that Patsy so has fun. fallen on hard times since Liam, oh. and now she's going to the sales. No, Donna, she didn't wow. say that. She did yeah, did not say no Is that what you're saying? Thing. You did. Is that what you're saying? She did, didn't she? Did she? Say. she did. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a liar. Patsy Kensit in thrift shops. Scandal. I'm destitute now. Liam's left me with nothing. Is you're that what you're saying, Donna? <laughs> That's so cruel. <laughs> OK, uh, here's a number two. I, uh, I said it looks lovely as Strictly well. speaking, it's not, it's not a woman's a nice coat, thing. I know, but it did used to belong to Elton John. That's good enough for me. Yeah. Have a look at this. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, look that. Look at that. That's great. Oh, look at that. What I like about it is, do you notice the, the special... Short yes. sleeves for Elton oh, yes. Do you know what I'm I don't know. I think that Elton John and Britney Spears should do a tale of the tape to see who's got the chubbiest rips, wrist in pop. <laughs> Elton or Britney? The chubbiest wrist. Do you think Britney, Britney Carpet Britney. Monster, you've worked with her greats on Tall of Monster? You've seen their wrists. Have you seen Elton's wrists? Yeah, I think they're very chubby, actually. OK, what about Britney's? Do you think they're chubbier than Britney's or they're, less chubby? I think they're even chubbier. Yes, OK, they thank are. you very much so, indeed. I appreciate yeah. that. Uh, thousands of shoppers rooted through Sir Elton John's car stores yesterday in his glitzy charity shop. Elton 53 is selling 15,000 items, hoping to raise 400 grand for AIDS research at Out of the Closet in London's West End. One fan, 69, said, I'm after a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Elton John's rug warehouse clear out. <laughs> Uh, imagine a haunted All Elton John wig. All rugs must go. <laughs> All rugs must go. Just put the wig on it. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm going to get on with this. This is Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford's been seen in a strip club. Do you know what he said his name Good was? Man. They're, they're, um, they're, he was dancing with, I think, what the two names? Dusty and Mercedes. Oh, lovely. Uh, up on stage, you got Dusty and Mercedes. Uh, Whitmore Wild fellas in the sidebar. Um, <laughs> get your slice of pizza, guys. Just coming round. Um, <laughs> But anyway, he gave his name. They all recognised him. He gave his name. He says, no, 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 I'm not Harrison Ford. I'm Tom, the meat processor. <laughs> what? Meat Tom, processor? the meat processor. Uh, do you know, there's a glaring, glaring mistake oh, in them. Oh, this is, this this is, really is annoying shocking. This really has, it really hasn't. It? No, it's, it's incensed me. Look at this. They've got a list of uh, Christmas shopping for you. There it is. Big list, yeah? OK, okay nice items. A good shopping bag in the mirror. But have a look at this. One mint matchmaker. It's not a mint. It's a twiglet. It's a twiglet. twiglet. Of course it is. It's a twiglet, isn't it, Blake? Yes. Girls, my witnesses. Twiglet. Yeah. 
But you think of how confused the pensioners are going to be about this. <laughs> they're going to look at that and they're, you know, full apologies, moral police in the mirror, or we're going to boycott the paper on the show. Well, we want a proper that picture. And the red poobins. Yes, of Basildon. Sometimes I could strangle my wife. <laughs> this is how the letter starts. Uh, she doesn't work and is totally addicted to soap operas on TV. The only conversations she has are about soap characters. She talks about them as though they're real. Uh, our sex life is also suffering as a result. I'll be eating my tea and she'll be prattling on about this person and that. I don't realise she's telling me a storyline. I blow my top. <laughs> you could cut the atmosphere with a knife. She's only 26 and I feel like I'm living with a batty old lady. How about that? <laughs> and also, a big prediction here, there'll be three billion Elvis Presley. Sorry, three, yeah, three billion Elvis Presley impersonators uh, in how long? Soon. Uh, no, really apparently, when, it's, when he died, 85,000... Really? Soon? Soon, <laughs> soon you say? Uh, 85,000 just after he died. Uh, sorry, 85, 150 people when he died, 85,000 now. It's and apparently 3 billion, if we keep on going at that rate. Yeah. It's not enough. <laughs> I wouldn't be happy till it's Elvis Watt yeah. and uh -huh. every child. Uh -huh. Joe, it's a pun down with the fun down there. Yeah. 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 a new bath, the pun says. Vicar of Diffley, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, son, stars rave at Madonna Geek. Uh, did, you didn't get your... Only Madonna Donna went here. A lot of stars were there. It was fantastic. I had a ticket, but I just decided to go to bed early so I could come here. Oh. Unlike me... I didn't have a ticket. I wasn't invited. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I did find very funny. Was, uh, there's a picture of Guy Ritchie and Mick Jagger. And in it, I suddenly realised... I thought, why is Mick doing that face? And I, I suddenly realised he's trying to look all mean. <laughs> and you look at it, it's in the papers today, and he's... Been, <laughs> uh, I know, I'm going to move through. Here we go. Uh, sun, stars rave at Madonna gig. Pan, pun says, match for it. Uh, she's going to like that. Uh, mirror, a BBC weather girl is pregnant. Uh, big story here in the UK. Pun says, there's a massive front on the way. <laughs> Papers and puns, ladies and gentlemen. Denise, what's happening next? Okay, here's what's still to come on today's Big Breakfast. Move yes. the next card. 